Hello everyone, thanks for joining me today. My name is Yvonne Heath with Love Your Life to Death, and I have a wonderful woman in the studio with me, Kathy Turner. Kathy and her husband Bruce have been funeral directors for many, many years, and we discuss the trend of people moving away from having any funeral or celebration of life or anything at the time of a loved one's death and the long-term negative repercussions that may have. We also get a tour of the funeral home. I think something everybody should do and hopefully the funeral director in your local area is as wonderful as Kathy. Here's a quick clip. Today we have Kathy Turner here with us. Kathy, thank you for being here oh, today. Thank you, Yvonne. And it's a pleasure to be here yes, with you. Yes, good. Um, very, I'm sure everyone will be really excited to hear that we're going to be talking about funerals. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm sure everybody wants to talk, but you know what? It's something that is a very important subject, mm -hmm. something that we will all face. And so we're going to have the conversation about funerals and maybe questions that people are afraid to ask or talk about. And so you have been a f licensed funeral director mm -hmm. since the n early 90s. So... I think you've seen a thing or two and the change in our society over the last couple of decades. And what would you say is the biggest change when it comes to funerals? Um, I think the biggest change has been that uh, we see more and more families choosing to not have a traditional funeral, if you want to call it that. Um, people are choosing to move away from having a viewing and um, a day's visitation followed by a burial service, which was the norm, if you will. Mm -hmm. um, more and more folks are choosing to uh, have cremation, whether it's cremation following um, a viewing or cremation ahead of a viewing, and uh, then they'll scatter the cremated remains. Some people say ashes. I'm still comfortable using the term cremated remains. Right. Um, and if they don't scatter, some, sometimes they're left at home until the next uh, person passes and be buried together, or they may just choose to be buried in a local cemetery or a columbarium. Mm -hmm. So we're seeing a lot of uh, folks choosing uh, different service styles, if you will. Um, some choose to have a a jazz party, a gathering with the, the wine and the food and the, the deceased is present in an urn or um, with pictures and flowers or sometimes um, it's just uh, whatever, I would say, whatever the family has become comfortable with. Mm -hmm. um, and I think over time, because perhaps families are a little more distant from each other now because of travel being so easy to move around the, the world mm -hmm. that uh, it's maybe not easy or convenient to come together uh, for what we would have said in the past was a traditional funeral. Right. And so uh, families are planning to have a funeral a week, two weeks, six months down the road. It's winter. It's not convenient. Somebody's away. So there's, there's all kinds of time taken right. uh, in those plans now. So. Yvonne, I'm really uh, pleased to be able to bring you down and to uh, show you this uh, selection room. Unfortunately, Not everybody wants to see a selection no, room, but uh, I'm very interested. And not many people do come down, and yeah. there's a lot of curiosity around it. So uh, I wanted to take a few minutes and, and show you just some of the styles of caskets or ideas that we have for families, and truly to personalize a funeral for, uh, for their loved one. And we allow that. We provide some guidance. And then after that, the family can choose or free to choose whatever casket, if it's cremation or burial or registers and cremation jewelry if they wish, entirely the family's decision. Mm -hmm. 